Oh, CH is true here, and it's a beautiful, beautiful summer solstice. And as I was doing my usual nature walk I do on solstices and equinoxes, I was thinking about the idea of a universe geared toward life. Particularly, you could say the anthropic principle, the biocentric principle. And I was wondering, you know, is there a scientific way of at least coming close to verifying it? You can't use science to prove or disprove philosophical arguments, but you can at least come close. Um, you can at least rule in or rule out whether the philosophical question is a good one to consider or not. So here we go. I think that there is a possible scientific test that wouldn't prove the idea of an the anthropic principle or the biocentric principle, but at least would give it weight, and if the universe should not pass the test, then it would cast doubt on them. Now, a lot of these types of videos have a lot of um, religio-philosophical or religio-spiritual worldviews thrown in. I don't want to state mine for the record, but I want to also state that I do not intend to inject that into this video the way that a lot of creationist or ID videos will inject religion into science. I don't want to do that. But I will state what my views are right off the bat. I am inclined to believe in the idea of a biocentric cosmos, or the idea of a, the anthropic principle. Um, unlike a great many YouTube videos that deal with math and science and analytic philosophy. Uh, I am very open to the idea of spirituality. I've studied a lot from the Western religions. I've studied a lot from the Eastern religions. I've studied the Native American religions. I define myself as a liberal universalist monotheist with strong pantheist inclinations and a strong um, belief in the ecological. i I've studied uh, Native American, I've studied indigenous cultures, I've studied um, the, the Gaian perspective, and I am inclined to believe that we live not only on a living earth, but also in a living cosmos. Now, that is, and if string theory is correct, um, let's say if the multiverse interpretation of string theory is correct, perhaps even, even a living multiverse. Now, that those are my philosophical biases. I have... I'm influenced by, again, by Thoreau, by Emerson, by Whitman, by John Muir, Emily Dickinson, Ursula K. Le Guin, you name it, I've read it, and it has given me a strong feeling, uh, an intuitive feeling, that we live in a living universe. Hence my nature walks on solstices and equinoxes and that type of thing, and a strong ecological perspective that you tend to see in a lot of my videos. However, I'm not going to inject that into the science. If we are going to have a scientifically testable living universe perspective or idea, then it has to be, again, scientifically testable. And if the universe should pass this test, it wouldn't, it wouldn't prove a philosophical point, but it would at least prove a point that you could say would be isomorphic to it. And if it should disprove, then it would disprove a point isomorphic, at least somewhat isomorphic. Um... Maybe it's a misuse of the term isomorphic. So I'm just going to hop right to it. If in the course of pushing out into the solar system, if in the course of exploring our solar system and exploring the universe through um, the Kepler or the Hubble or um, probably the Kepler, okay, for, for our purposes now, and if in the course of scanning the skies with radio telescopes and the way that SETI is, is doing we should discover life. And in the case of SETI, not just life, but intelligent life. Uh, exploring the solar system would probably be limited to um, bacterial life or uh, simple life. But in exploring um, the exoplanets and out there, intelligent life, we would say categorically that the Earth is not alone. If the Earth is alone, a, a, a blue jewel in a sea of black, then yes, indeed, that strongly suggests that life could indeed be accidental, that we, that we can uh, say that, well, the Earth is unique in all space and that human intelligence is very unique and that, yeah, um, it really would be evidence against the idea of the anthropic principle or the biocentric principle or the idea of a universe geared toward life.
But if we should discover that life is plentiful throughout the universe, then that to me would at the very least raise the question of, wow, do we live in a universe that in some sense is a living universe? Uh, see my video on hylozoism way back there, by the way, um, for further reference. Now, there are those who will say uh, that this test would prove nothing because what if we live in a universe without the, what if we live in a multiverse where most other universes would not have these physical constants that we have? Very well, I will concede. In that case, we do not have a universe whose physical constants are geared toward life. That would be true, but could we potentially live in a living multiverse? A multiverse geared toward life, and that these other universes with different physical constants could still have some form of... Uh, some organization of energy that might not be normal matter, but that would be um, organized to for reproduction, self-organized uh, to reproduce and have intelligence in the way that we know life to have. And the answer is test it, find out. If we discover these universes, explore them in the same way that we explore uh, the planets in our solar system and see indeed if we discover life. If we do, then that is evidence in favor of the idea, not just of a living universe, but of a living multiverse. Now, um, should we should the universe fail that test? And indeed, um, that would cast doubt, or the multiverse, maybe if the universe su succeeded and passed the test, but the multiverse didn't, then indeed that would um, be powerful evidence weighting on the scale against the idea of either a living universe in one case or a living multiverse in the other case. And I would concede that. But I still think the search is worthwhile. Meanwhile, we have life on this planet that we do know about. And on my walk today, my other thought is, wow, we'd, we'd better take care of it. So this is CH is true. 